I could give you clinical examples of clients saying, oh, Mary, I just can't do that, or it makes me too upset, or it brings attention into my breath, and it actually exacerbates uncomfortable breathing. And so there's a time and a place when we have to pause and interrupt the breathing exercise and do something else. So I'll teach what I primarily use in my office. Well, I use one of two things, but I'll teach it with a clinical example. And this is a woman, a little fireball of a woman, just this sassy, delightful, brilliant woman. I like to rub, get some of her brain cells. So darn smart and just a fireball. She came in and said, Mary, I'm here because I've got anger towards my husband. He's a good guy. And at times I even want to freaking divorce him. And I really know I don't want to divorce him, but I'm hard to live with. And I want some anger management. And we're not talking about my past. Okay. Why do I say okay? Client right to self-determination. Right? The customer. Client right to self-determination. We start with where the client's at. There's the right to choose. There's treating the client, seeing the client's essence goodness. Right? So I said, okay. So one day, this is maybe the fifth session, she came in. And she said, oh, I'm just so fit to be tied. It's like, geez, I just don't know what to do. And that breathing stuff, it just doesn't slow me down. It's just not enough. And I just, oh, I just am fit to be tied. And she just kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she kind of got like, oh, God, like a, like a record that wound down. And she was kind of in this foggy state. So what's going on with her? I don't know. Right? But probably some kind of a dissociative state. And so I said, her name was D. I said, Miss D, just for a moment, let's have a feel your feet on the floor, push against your feet. So push, push your feet on the floor. Feel your feet in the, feel your hips in the chair. And let's just start running in place. So run in place with me. Run in place. Just. And almost in a stomp. I mean, be respectful of your body. Only do what's appropriate for your body. And then let's add some arms. And I'm watching Miss D. And Miss D starts going like this. <laughs> so I start going like this. So ladies and gentlemen, because you want to mirror your client, if your client's getting revved up and you're over there doodly doing, then they're, they're not going to be able to support it, so we're both going like this. Here's Miss D. Here's Mary. <laughs> and, Ms. and then, excuse me. And then Miss D stopped. And she looked at me. And she said, dang, you're good. <laughs> she didn't use the dang word, though. And I said, are you here? And she said, I'm here. Can you take a breath now? She said, yeah, I think I can, Mary. I don't know what went on with her. Something got worked out. And, and at the end of that session, she said, okay, I'll talk about my dad. I didn't ask her. And then we spent some sessions talking about her dad.